Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at this question right here. Uh, notice I've got 3 to the x plus 1 multiplied by 3 squared to the x minus 1 divided by 3 cubed to the x. Let's see what this is going to do here. Now, bear in mind, when you've got a power of a power, and actually what we should do here is think of it like this. When you've got like brackets and exponents, you want to do that first. So I've got 3 to the x plus 1. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on here. This is going to be multiplied by 3. And when you've got a power of a power, you have to multiply the exponents. Now, where the mistake is going to get made here, if a mistake is going to get made at all, is people will just multiply the x by the 2, and that's it. Make this 2x minus 1. Okay? But because it's the whole binomial here multiplied by that exponent, you actually have to distribute that 2 through. So it becomes 2x minus 2. And that's important that you catch that. And then down here in the denominator, uh, we're just going to multiply the two exponents together. That just becomes 3 to the 3x. Now, I can put this all together because remember, when I multiply powers, I'm going to add exponents. This is going to be 3 to the x plus 1 plus 2x minus 2. And then when you divide by the power, you subtract its exponent, so negative 3x. Now, when there's numbers in there, sometimes people have the tendency to want to, like, multiply the 3 by the 3 to get 9 and then divide by the 3 and so on. But you don't actually do that. Okay, when you're multiplying powers, the base stays the same. All of the work just happens up in the exponent. Okay? And so now let's, let's simplify that exponent. This is going to be 3 to the, okay, well, x plus 2x is 3x minus 3x. Well, okay, the x, the x terms, those linear terms just disappear. And then I've got 1 plus negative 2. So this is 3 to the negative 1 when all said and done. And we know that that is the same as 1 over 3. That negative in there is, uh, is responsible for a division. Okay, dividing by 3 to the 1 here. So now I just got to look at my options here, a, b, C and D, and my answer is D.